today we're going to be reviewing the metric system. According to the most recent surveys available, there's only three countries in the entire world that don't use the metric system, Liberia, Burma, and us. Because the scientific community, and quite frankly the rest of the world, uses the metric system to communicate measurements, that's going to be the only system of measurement that we use in this class. You've used the metric system before, but today we're just going to make sure you have a little brush up on how it works. Uh, in the metric system, we use prefixes to adjust the size of a base unit used for measurement, and those same prefixes can be used for all metric measurements. Whether you're measuring length, mass, or volume, you'll use the same prefixes that you see below. And the, the meaning stays the same whether you're measuring length, mass, or volume. Uh, some prefixes are more common than others. You'll see kilo, centi, and milli in chemistry quite a bit. Those other ones you won't really use but they are helpful for when you're hopping from one unit to the other, as you're going to see in just a second. The standard units for the metric system, the meter for length, liter for volume, and gram for mass, can be converted into those larger or smaller units using those prefixes, depending on what's appropriate for the situation. So if you were measuring the mass of a vitamin, let's say, you might use milligrams because they're really tiny. You wouldn't want to use milligrams to measure the mass of a car because that would be an inappropriate unit. You'd want to use kilograms, a larger unit, instead. We do the same thing in our English system of measurement. You probably wouldn't measure the distance from your house to friend high school using inches. You'd probably use miles. You pick a unit that makes the most sense for the size of the object that you're measuring. Those standard units, the meter, the liter, and the gram, you'd think there would be some fancier answer to this, but where did they come from? Somebody made them up. Someone made them up, and ever since then, we've been comparing other objects to those standards. There's no way of measuring one object without comparing it to another. So somebody somewhere along the way decided to call a certain length a meter. And then when we measure things, we decide, is it bigger than that meter stick, smaller than that meter stick, and by how much? You may or may not know this, but you probably know your height in feet. The foot that you are comparing yourself to was an actual foot from King Charlemagne. Way back when, they measured the size of his foot. And that's what we use today. So how strange is that? You know how many times bigger you are than some dead guy's foot, even though he lived thousands of years ago.